Right, what's going on guys? Travel Trouble here. I've literally just woken up from like a two hour nap and I've woken up to some huge news so I just had to get this video made. So let's just get straight into it. So as we all know, for the past few years, Call of Duty has operated on a three year studio cycle. Currently, each studio releases their game in the order of Treyarch, Infinity Ward and then Sledgehammer. These games get shipped to us and then they follow their year's worth of DLC season before the next studio reveals their game and releases that you know the game that they revealed. But actually since the heads that were at Sledgehammer left last year, apparently development on Call of Duty 2020 has been really rocky and Activision have actually stepped in today and said that it's quote a mess. So fans can get excited because Sledgehammer's games have been hit or miss for the community. They've done Modern Warfare 3, they've done Advanced Warfare, and they also did World War 2. But Activision have actually said because it's a mess, they've called Treyarch in to oversee their project and release it for 2020. Which means for the first time in seven years, we're actually going to have a two year development cycle. Obviously we've had Black Ops 4 with Treyarch, and then we're going to have Infinity Wards in 2019, and then in 2020 we're going to have Treyarch again. So all of this comes from Charlie Intel, and apparently it was actually Raven that was leading the development on Call of Duty 2020, and Sledgehammer actually supporting those but since the heads have left it's been a bit of a mess but the campaign was already being worked on it was actually supposed to be set in the cold war and you know as Treyarch is now overseeing i don't know if it's they're overseeing sledgehammer's previous work or whether they're just bringing their project forward but according to charlie and tom the campaign was already being set in the cold war which means in 2020 we're most likely looking at a call of duty black ops 5. i'm personally looking forward to this i just i when Black Ops 4 came out, I didn't want them to continue the whole Black Ops thing because it's getting a bit ridiculous now. But Black Ops 5, if it is set in a Cold War with a campaign like Black Ops 1, it's very, very old school. I could I could get behind it. It's very exciting from a zombies perspective, especially because we know we're going to get two more Aether maps in the final two seasons, uh, two DLCs in this season. So if they don't wrap up the story, we could see what happens to those guys sooner as well. I don't imagine they'll bring Blackout over to it, to be quite honest, or anything of the Battle Royale genre. I think we'll have your standard campaign multiplayer zombies. But um, all we have to do now before we see is get through Infinity Ward's COD. I'm not saying that's a bad thing. Again, they've been hit or miss like Sledgehammer games. So we'll just have to see where it goes. But yeah, 2020, we're going to have a tryout game. Meaning we're going to have, for the first time in seven years, two tryout games in three years. So I'm really looking forward to it. But I had to get this video out there. So it's a bit rushed. Some of it was scripted, some of it wasn't. But I had to just do it because you know i'm so excited for it so if you did enjoy this video or you found it useful please leave a like rating and do consider subscribing other than that i've been general gerbil peace out